Well, praise the Lord. It's good to be with you again. Father, wake up your people uh, that they uh, not be left behind. For they still hang uh, <clears throat> on the things of, of this world and not of the things of above. In Jesus' name. Warning, it is coming. Warning. That's the topic today. The ground shook uh, like uh, like never before. Everyone in the world was uh, was all struck. Stricken. <laughs> they knew it was uh, they, they knew it was coming, but had uh, had no idea when. Yet they were uh, warned uh, many times over a hundred year hundred year span. The world was full of violence. People were being uh, sacrificed, murdered all over the world. Giants and other monsters were eating humans. That's how bad it got. And it'll be that way again during the tribulation. There were a few places where there were uh, they were cutting rocks and, and making statues right up to the very day that it happened. Uh, giving and taking in marriage, babies killed by for sacrifice and food because there were famines. Ungodly lifestyles, uh, all kinds of abominations, men sleeping with men, women sleeping with women. It's unnatural. Nothing was uh, withheld uh, uh, for the witness uh, of man. Uh, it was rampant. The earth crust moved uh, out of its place. Mountains, islands, and, uh, and continents. Uh, uh, the fountains of the earth uh, opened. And the waters was uh, were gushing up uh, high, as you can see, uh, engulfing the whole earth as the rain came down. And the waters uh, from the deep covered all the all the land and even all all the high mountains. Yet only the uh, the ark of Noah and his family were spared. The flat bottom boat uh, floated uh, on the on the water. Which covered the earth. In Genesis 7:11, in the in the sixth six uh, hundredth year of Noah's life, in the in the second month, the seventeenth day of the month, the same day were were all the uh, fountains of the great deep broken up, and the and the windows of heaven were opened. Likewise, Noah preached uh, to them for one hundred years while building the ark. But no one listened, and none others uh, survived uh, the flood that, that breathed air through their nostrils. Yet, uh, yet because there was uh, there was no redemption, yet all went to hell, and instant, and instant, uh, the instant uh, uh, breath left their nostrils. It was five thousand five hundred years had passed. Uh, from Adam till till Jesus uh, came and redeemed all from hell. For the three days he was in the grave, uh, talking to uh, and saving the lost, uh, and and redeeming them from from hell itself. While Jesus was in the belly of the earth for three days, uh, he opened uh, the gates of hell, and all who were uh, in it were taken out. See, that's reserved for judgment, the judgment day. Uh, those who did not uh, change, see, everyone, everyone that goes, uh, everyone that's not in Christ goes to sleep. They don't, they don't go straight to hell. They go to sleep because they haven't been judged yet. Uh, just as the word, uh, the word of God says, uh, many people of old were were seen up and uh, and walking around. In the days he rose uh, from the, the day he rose from the grave. Now we are uh, at at a point uh, in time where uh, abominations again are taking place, and baby sacrifices. Then uh, many terrors are in the world. Uh, life is worth uh, little to many, as they uh, as they do the devil's work. Those in high places have uh, given given their souls for for. For gain uh, now and and follow Satan. Demons are are now bolder, uh, thinking they uh, can uh, can again roam the earth uh, or the world 
through the body of uh, those who have uh, been possessed by them, as well as uh, those bodies which uh, they have uh, created from abductions and sperm manipulations. They are gathering uh, uh, for, for what they think is victory over God himself, which is what they did at, the, at, at, his, uh, at his crucifixion. Uh, they thought they had won. Uh, but uh, he planned it that way to overcome them. Satan has uh, also deceived them. Uh, likewise, the demons are not uh, not a creation of God, but rather of the fallen angels of God, as uh, as told in Genesis six. They will uh, they will all go to the lake of fire. Uh, some of them uh, are monsters uh, condemned uh, to roam the earth uh, as spirits. Uh, now, <clears throat> Satan will not sleep either. He, he will never sleep. Uh, they, I think it's, uh, it's in Isaiah uh, 14th uh, chapter. It uh, tells you that, uh, that he won't sleep. He'll go right to the lake of fire. With no bodies till, uh, till they are able to, uh, to possess a person who will allow them in. Well, that's what demons do. Many great warnings uh, have gone out all over the world. As many people, uh, God's talked to many people, showed them visions and all, and uh, uh, hopefully somebody's listening. Just as Noah gave warnings uh, for 100 years, also has the, has the warnings uh, for this generation been given and longer. <clears throat> Around the year 1914, uh, revival broke out in California just over 100 years again has passed. <clears throat> Yet many scoffers and mockers at, uh, at each watchman uh, whom God has, uh, has placed to, to tell those uh, on the earth the time is near. So they scoff, and uh, even though we tell them. The Word of God tells us that uh, this generation uh, that sees all these things uh, uh, come to pass, that generation will not pass away before the end comes. Well, I've seen it all. This is my generation. That generation is a generation born after the Second World War. Uh, for it, uh, for in that generation was Israel returned to the uh, to the Israelites. This is when Israel regained uh, possession uh, of the Canaan land. Likewise, wars and rumors of wars all around the world. All, all around the uh, world, and the seas are raging. Uh, the large earthquakes uh, is upon us, uh, the large one, the real large one. I mean, we've had some big ones, and they're uh, in divers places. I mean, they're all over the place, places we've never, never seen them before. And that's what divers means. It's in divers places. That means it's strange places. It's places that hasn't been before. The earth will be as as a woman in labor. A final warning uh, for all, uh, all to come to know uh, the Savior, Jesus Christ. Again, you are warned uh, of, the, of the islands uh, disappearing into the sea and the mountains being moved uh, again out of their places. And, and the stars rolling up uh, as a scroll. This is a depiction of the sixth seal opening. Yet there is hope. If uh, if now you will you, you will heed the warnings and call on the, on the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Uh, Jonah was sent uh, to Nineveh, uh, for they were uh, in the same state as as the as the whole world today. They were abominable. When they heard the warning, uh, they took it uh, to heart and repented. The Lord heard their repenting uh, spirit and spared them. Uh, utter and total destruction, because that's what they had coming. Uh, uh, today uh, can change uh, the outcome. What you do today can change the outcome of and save many lives. We can again be one nation under God here in America. Uh, with the hand of protection of, the, of God all around the nation. In 2 Corinthians 7.14, if my people shall humble themselves and prepare, and, and pray 
and seek my face and turn from their wicked ways. And I will hear from heaven. I will, I will give their sins, forgive their sins, and will heal their land. God is doing that right now. He did hear us, and we did cry out to him. And he is doing that through uh, our president. Perhaps you know the the Lord uh, and have been and, and have backslided uh, to a state where you are cold or lukewarm. If you act now, you can re restore the love you once had, and and be forgiven, and and loved again as no other, for His love for you has never waned. It's never waned. If you do not uh, know. Uh, uh, if you do not know salvation, come now. Uh, those uh, those who have uh, who have grown cold, stir, repent, and pray, so the evil one does not prosper in your in your land. Father, we repent. Uh, light a fire in us that um, that makes us bold uh, to tell tell the world of your your plan for their life. To bring, uh, to bring them to salvation in Jesus' name. In John 3, 5, Jesus answered, Most assuredly, I say unto you, except a man be born of water and of spirit, he cannot enter into the kingdom of God. In Acts uh, 2, 38, Peter then said unto them, Repent and be baptized, every one of you, in the name of Jesus Christ, for the remission of sins. Ask, and you shall receive the gift of the Holy Ghost. Come now and let us call on the, on the name of the Lord together and grow uh, in strength uh, in Jesus' name. So let us pray. Father, we come to you now, oh God, for every person, for every need. If they're weak in faith of God, we ask that you strengthen them. And Lord, if they need you, they need an unction from you, uh, Lord, let them get that from this video. Kunda bakoti kong bakat ye kukong ya tu mukola kote. Kunda la chata bokosya tabakula koti bakoti katkata. Kunda kala kati bokosya kuta kato koti kata. Kunda hada kala ko bakate ke bokosi kata kate. Kando bakasya na bakosi te. Kunda bakasya ta. Kunda la shata bakati. Jesus name. Now remember, Jesus loves you. And I love you. Stay blessed. Until next time. In Jesus' holy, precious name.